Okay, we continue. Um, we have just uh, about three more um, tasks to do. First is complete the stock out. Uh, so we have we haven't balanced everything yet. So we've got 2,400 in demand. We're satisfying 1,400. That leaves a thousand minus um, wow 310. So we, we've still got a good bit left here to take care of. So the stock out is going to equal what's left over. So we say equals um, B7 minus C7 minus D7 minus the overtime, G7 minus the subcontract, H7. And that's 690. And we copy that. There's 90. Is that right? That's an easy one to add. So 90 plus 210 is 300. 400, 1800, that balances. So we've got an equation that works. Now we've got to deal with the case of when it goes negative. And so we, we add our if statement. So if So if this equation is less than zero, then just type in zero else type it in. And so we have dealt with with the stock outs. So now we have an equation that works and satisfies all of this. Now there's just a matter of, um, of calculating our hire and layoff. So our hire is, um, well, we hire when we have more, um, uh, when we increase our production. So, so this is equal to um, C3 minus um, C2. So that's a 100 higher. It's a 100 higher. And then the layoff is just the, um, but what if, what if this went the other way? Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and make this a general rule. So F C3 minus C3 is um, greater than zero, then type it in, else zero. So now we have created a generic formula that works for all. And now we want to do the opposite for a layoff equals um, C2 minus C3. And um, we say F C2 minus C3 is greater than zero, then type it in else zero. And now we have an equation that works for everything. Just to just to show you this is right, we'll plug one in where we're 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 going um, up and then down. So let's make the fourteen hundred here fifteen hundred. Just to just to show you that both formulas work. So now um, this formula where we went down does not produce a negative number, which it would otherwise, and this one doesn't produce a negative number. So it, it's working. So it's easy to just do a quick test of your numbers. Last. Um, issue is to create um, total costs. So the total cost equal to the sum of, I'm sorry, not the, not the demand, um, is the sum of the production. And this is just July through December. So this is um, C3 to C8. And that whole thing is times 
the regular cost, which is down there in D23. And then we look at um, the sum of your average inventory. So that's um, F3, F8 times um, inventory holding cost, which is D17. Our overtime, same, same, um, same factor actually for all of these except we're going to, um, we're going to have to change the multiplying number. So, um, for overtime that is um, um, oops, let me go back to here. So overtime is um, D21, and uh, subcontract is D18, and stock out is D um, 16. It looks like maybe we won't have quite enough room. Whenever you see those asterisks, you don't want to leave them there. Um, and then higher is uh, uh, D 19 and layoff is. Um, D 20. And finally, the total cost equals sum of um, C9 to K9. 935,910. So we have solved this problem and we have computed the cost, uh, total cost for July through December. And that completes this problem. This is part two of um, the uh, aggregate plan problem.